Hey YouTube, um, well I just woke up and I think I have another clutch of eggs, so let's take a look. Yep, another clutch. There's one egg. Yay, they aren't stuck this time. I'm so happy. That helps out a lot. Alright, so I'm just going to check really quick for my knowledge and see how the, the eggs are. This one's fertile. They both should be fertile. Both look good. I don't see an embryo. I see a vein. There, there's the embryo. Yeah, so they're both fertile. So, what I'm gonna do is I actually might have another clutch of eggs, so um, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do really quick. So, I'm gonna put this in between my legs a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to rub off some of the cocoa fiber off of the egg. Now it doesn't matter if you turn the egg in the beginning, um, and you find it, it's perfectly fine. So, I do turn my eggs in the beginning when I get them out. It doesn't really matter, they're still, they still can hatch out fine, and I've done that, and I've had that geckos hatch out fine, so, um, yeah. You just gotta be very careful with leopard gecko eggs. So yep, this is my second clutch of eggs. Fertile clutches of eggs. That one will need to get buried a little bit because it's a little bit dehydrated. Um, now if you have dehydrated eggs like that, like it's a little bit dehydrated, what I do is I just bury it a little bit more. And I'll kind of just spray around it a little bit. So... Yeah. It's always good to just try to make the eggs as clean as possible, to be quite honest. Um, you want the eggs to be as good as they can be. And I don't like to have stuff on it, but like in this case, there's going to be a little bit of stuff on it. Like, you can see the egg. So, yep. I just want to work on this one a little bit more. I, I, you see, I'm just rubbing the egg very gently, trying to get off some of the stuff, but, you know, it's perfectly fine. And, yeah. So, there's another clutch of eggs right there. Now let me go grab the container. Alright, so, here's the first clutch of eggs right there. So they're growing, you can see because they're getting bigger, and they're doing really well, so, yep. Those are the first clutches of eggs. Actually, this one needs to be buried a little bit more. Actually, no. See, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of trial and error right here. Just seeing how I can fit the egg in. Okay, that's good. So what I'm doing is I'm just going around the egg. And there you go. That's all you got to do. So... I'm going to just indent. I think I could fit more eggs here, so I'm just going to try to maximize space. Right now. And sometimes you just got to make a bigger indent. And that's fine.
then the eggs will grow, so you do have to give them room. So that's a good amount of room. And you can tell these eggs are bigger than these. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Another clutch of fertile eggs. And I might have another one, so. Yep, that's that. Here, I'm just going to put down the phone for a second. The camera, or whatever you want to call it. It's a phone, though. Um, so that's my second clutch of flubber gecko eggs. Um, I'm going to put it in there because it's a little bit chilly in my room, but that's fine. And let's just go check the crested gecko. Um, I don't know where the female went at all. Oh, red. Why do you have to be out, red? <sighs> this will be fun. I think there's a clutch of eggs, so. I'm not sure there's a clutch, but I think it might be. Well, there might not be, but you know, it doesn't hurt to check. I don't think there is. Yeah, there isn't. I look around. Yeah, there's no eggs. But, uh, it did look like the female was skinnier. So, yeah, guys, that's my update video. I got another clutch of leopard gecko eggs. I'm gonna have to record the date and stuff. And comment, rate, and subscribe, guys.